New tonight, in the midst of a pandemic, a Chatham County educator is looking to close the achievement gap among boys of color. She is starting a charter school and told me she is doing it through the arts. For nearly two decades, education has been a part of Alicia Toomer's life. The Chatham County native, administrator, and mother is now embarking on a dream that she says when you look at the numbers, only makes sense. And it's the data. It is the data that is so glaring, particularly for our black and brown boys. In Chatham alone, the achievement gap is 30 to 40 percent different for our black and brown boys as compared to the white majority. Valencia has started the School of the Arts for Boys Academy, a.k.a. SABA, a charter school based in Chatham County and focused on using the arts and culturally responsive teaching to empower black and brown boys. In the state of North Carolina, there are five art forms. You know, it's your, your visual, your music, theater, dance. But the fifth one is media. So, you know, boys are into coding and, and STEM and science. She says teachers will be trained on how to integrate the arts in subjects like math and science. And says the school already has partnerships with North Carolina A&T and North Carolina Central to get student teachers. You know, what is next? I mean, the elephant in the room is that we are in the middle of a pandemic. We are relying heavily on social media. We have yard signs out. We are in the area of barbershops and salons and grocery stores where we're putting up flyers. I speak at church functions, but right now it is a matter of everything that we do on the publicity side, but word of mouth at, at this point. While she says there are challenges, the school is set to enroll more than 100 boys by March third, fourth, and fifth graders. And the cost to attend, free of charge. Sounds like Saba this fall coming up is, is, is going to be open. Yes. Virtually, you know, virtually or in person. <laughs> Your guess is good as mine. <laughs> And Valencia told me that they've already got the thumbs up from the Charter School Advisory Board locally, and now they're waiting for approval from the state board. She is also putting on a fundraiser golf tournament at Chapel Ridge in March.